thing we need to do is to in order to get our 180cc kit we need to go ahead and take parts from our original uh, QMJ um, pretty much crankcase so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up and we're gonna remove the CV2 cover as well as also reverse and remove also the head unit that we did before so here we go I'm gonna show you how uh, pretty much we removed the CV2 cover here there's gonna be 10 uh, bolts that we need to remove from it you can see right here it's all underneath you can see right there there's these are two screws here but you only need to remove one of them and there's this one right here out of the two so I got my finger on there I'm not sure if you can see it but right there that's the one this one just holds the plate here for your kickstand not to break your uh, CV2 cover casing and then you got a total of nine more to remove and then there's one that just holds pretty much uh, sort of just the, the frame on which you don't have to remove like for instance this one right here you can see it's not attached to separate the CV2 cover at all it's just a hold uh, pretty much it's like um, another part that goes right here it's for like your canister or something like that for emission control which we're probably not going to even add back on anyway so the only thing we have to make sure that we remove is the 10 so let's go and get started on that one it's going to take 8 millimeter socket we're going to get 8 millimeter socket out right here and go ahead and attach it to a wrench you need an extension as well so here we go lefty loosey righty tidy we're going to go and get that removed see here I'm removing it okay already pre-loosened save them in a good spot actually what you would want to do is get a box for them because they're very unique so I already put a box what you can do is get a box and poke holes in them so you can see here for the CV2 cover so we're starting from the very farthest to the left so if I pull it out I can insert it right here in this left box right there because they're really much in different lengths so the box will hold it securely and you'll remember the rotation where it goes Again, we're skipping this one, so a total about, if it's 10, a total about maybe 9 more screws. If I'm not mistaken, yep, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Those are only the really 10 we have to worry about. There we go. And then after this one, we're going to get to the transmission cover. So hopefully I'm not blocking your angle. You can see where I'm at now. There we go. This is how we remove the CV2. Also, we have also the Kickstarter, which we don't make a slot for it here, but because you can put it back to where it was so you don't have to forget about it. Again, these are pretty loose and ready, and they're normally not this loose. You can't really normally do it by hand. You'll need an extension. There we go. See, it's coming along. Okay. Almost there. One more at the end. And then when we get to the bottom side, it goes to the lower level. So you can do it this way, I found it easier than just trying to lay them down and try and hopefully remember them. There we go. Now we're going to get to the other side of the bottom here, you're going to see shortly. I'm going to go ahead and turn it, that way you can angle and see it. See, there we go. And you don't have to worry about this one, this is actually where you actually flood the transmission fluid. You don't have to worry about it right now, if we're just removing the cover. And that's going to take a little bigger socket, it's going to take a 10 millimeter socket. So we're just focusing on the 10 to remove the CBT cover. Not too high for you. So, let's see here. There we go. Put it back into. You can see how it rotates, kind of like a circle. Okay, another one here. Again, you're going to see from the very top view, you can see how it's see the different lanes and stuff. So that's why you have to watch out for making sure that you don't have it where it's... Okay, hopefully you guys can see it. There we go. You can see I'm quick to put it back in right away because we don't want to lose the screws and where we're at. Okay. 
And this is also what you'll do to remove if you want to go and upgrade to the uh, transmission CVT uh, kit. We're going to show you how to upgrade also with NCY CVT transmission kit. It not, has to do nothing with the transmission actually, it's more like the CVT. Okay, again, keep one of these or the one that we're going to take off. The other one just holds the bracket so you can feel it right here. That's going to be blank. This is just to hold one side of the bracket so the kickstand won't uh, you know, interfere with your crankcase. So we'll just remove this one right here. Okay, and our tenth one right here. Going back to where we were originally. While I'm doing this, I also set the crankcase pretty much since it's warm weather here in California. Uh, it's almost about 100 degrees. I set it outside to warm it up. What warming does, it expands it, and you'll see why we're doing it. And then I freeze the um, bearing that we're going to replace out as well as the crankshaft that we're going to replace out. So we will go ahead and need to remove this as well. Uh, to be able to get into our um, uh, uh, crankcase stator area. And again, we made a whole separate holes for that as well. And it's gonna be pretty much, uh, once we get it down, we'll make the holes for you. You'll see right here for the flywheel and then for the crankcase. So just poke a hole with a, a screwdriver, a Phillips, or uh, whichever sharp one you have, or even a strong uh, nail or something. Okay, that's it. So we got that removed and we put that in here, the last slot. So that's how we remember it. See how it says right there? So that prevents it from falling. And then now we're gonna remove the kickstand. Kickstand the same way. You're gonna go and crank it there. Hopefully you guys can still see the angle of it. There we go. And now if it doesn't come off very easily, you can just kind of jilt the kickstand a little bit and that'll help you force the um, CBT cover to come off. Okay, the kickstand, you can just save it real quick on the bottom here because you're going to put back in for it. Okay, see there it goes, coming off. There we go. So put the kickstand back in here like that and that way you don't lose a screw because there's going to be quite a bit of few screws here. And we're going to make the holes for the transmission as well, so once you see it. So this is your CVT cover unit here, you want to pull it out. There it is. And the back side just looks like this right here. There's a bushing right here. This bushing is for your kickstand to kind of glide back and forth. And this sometimes interferes with you taking it off, especially when you have it on the scooter. It hits the housing a little bit. You need to extend it more. So what is best to do is kind of wiggle the kickstand a little bit to give you a little bit of kind of leverage it, just kind of shake things loose a little bit. And it usually comes off very easily like that. Okay, so we'll set this down to the side. Okay. And now what we want to do is this one requires that we get like a high impact wrench socket to remove it. So that will be the next step right there, what we're going to do. And as well as get into the transmission area. So let me go and get the high impact socket right now to remove that. Okay, here's our high impact socket. High impact socket usually has like a little, kind of almost like a hammerhead sort of, very thick. They usually come in about a certain uh, size and it's going to need a 17 millimeter uh, socket to take that out. There we go, 17 millimeter. We're going to set it to reverse. Uh, this is pretty much reverse when the arrow goes backward if you haven't used a uh, socket before. And it's very simple. It beats having to um, stick something in here to hold the variator. Uh, this is the variator. Uh, clutch. This is the variator, uh, variator itself, and either one you can take off first. So we're going to go ahead and take off the variator here first. So you can see here. Uh, I have again. This is torque. Uh, it's an impact wrench. Uh, not torque. Apologize. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and remove it now. Watch. You'll see it. What it does it? It hammers it, and it just kind of makes it bounce back and forth real quickly before it actually tries.